Now, uh, if I go to the node view here, we have this two uh, view that where we can assign the data. One is the title of content of the node and one is the title of the node, right? So now I can use this on bind view holder in the adapter to assign, the, receive the data and assign that to here in this uh, view. So I, to do that first, I need to create the variable here. So text view. One is for node title, right? And second one is for the node content. So I'm gonna create this variable inside this view holder because our view holder is creating the initial view that is that inflate the uh, view layout that we had created for the re recycler view. And now here I need to get assign the XML resources that we need for these uh, text views. So let me do that content. And uh, now our parent view here is item view. So to access the uh, variable that is present inside this node view layout, we must use the parent layout that is inflating this view. So that is item view in our case. So item view dot find view ID r dot id dot title right and similarly note note title sorry note content item view dot find view id not find focus r dot id dot um yeah content okay and I want to create one more uh, variable here called view. We'll use that this view later. View equals to item view. This view is used to handle the click on the recycler view items. And uh, what I want to do here is whenever somebody click on the any of the item in the recycler view, I want to send them to the details of that particular node, right? So to be able to do that, we need to handle the click on this item view and we'll pass some data to the next uh, view. So we'll do that later in the video. So for now, let's uh, create this view and uh, assign the item view to that. Nothing complicated and you don't need to get confused for this. So now in the on bind view holder, we're going to bind the data, actual data that we have received from the main activity when we create the uh, adapter object and I want to bind that to the view that we have here. So to do that, I need to use the holder object. Okay. And uh, I, I can, now I can reference the title or node content that we have here. I can, uh, I can use this view holder instance of this view holder to assign a uh, reference to this node title or node content. So node title dot now we can use the set text uh, properties of text view and uh, i'm gonna assign the title received from the list so titles dot get and i need to pass the position that we already have here called position like that okay now holder dot no title note content dot set text and contain dot get and the position right so it will uh, extract the title from the list and assign that to the view layout and the second line is going to extract the content from the view and uh, sorry content from the list that we have here and going to assign that to the content field uh, content text view of this note view layout okay and and finally i want to display some message when whenever somebody click on the particular item in the recycle view so to do that let's create a on click listener on the view that I had created. So holder that view and set on click listener, new on click listener. And whenever somebody click on that, I want to display toast message. Um, here I need to get the context that is current context. So I can use the current view and get context that is V that we have passed from this on click method. And finally, I'm going to display the item is clicked. So, okay, the uh, programming part of this adapter is pretty much finished. So uh, we have this unused import statement here. So I'm going to uh, remove that and I can remove any unused statement by using the shortcut called shortcut with 
control alt and o together and it will remove all the unused uh, import from our program okay so uh, this is done and if we need to make any changes we'll come back here later so let's go back to the main activity and call this adapter let me create the instance of this adapter adapter and now uh, right after this toggle state here I'm going to create the resources we required for the uh, adapter that is title for the node title right and a new array list similarly we need the content uh, guys don't get confused because I'm doing I'm creating this list view here just to create some sample data and display in the recycle view okay in the final application we are going to extract the data from the firebase database and we're going to display that so we don't actually need this in the final application but for now for your understanding i'm going to i'm going to do it so that you will under you get the better understanding of how uh recycle view works okay so let's create the new array list as well for this content okay now i'm going to add the content for this so titles dot add first no title and uh, close this and content dot add first note content sample and make sure that uh, you have the equal number of title and the equal number of content here so that uh, we won't get any error while uh, displaying this data so i'm gonna add one few more here just for the demonstration copy and paste the same thing okay second so this is the title we have uh, this is the content we are going to pass to our adapter and display the recycler view so now just after this i'm going to create the object for this adapter that variable i had created here and now i'm going to use new keyword to create the adapter object this one okay make sure you are selecting the uh, correct one so this is this one is net.smallacademy.firebase notes.model because we have added that adapter inside this model so it is uh, giving me that long URL there, okay. And inside this, we need to pass the. It is displaying the title and the content. So I'm gonna pass the title and the content, okay. Okay. Uh, you can see it says it is incompatible type. So that means I have made mistakes while creating this adapter here. So let me delete this one for a second and we need to select the correct adapter here so we need to select this one fire notes that model adapter select that one and adapter okay like that okay so make sure you are selecting the right one and here now we don't need this long adapter we can just create the new adapter like this and we can use we can pass the title and the content okay now finally it's time to set the layout manager for our recycler view so note list is the variable name that i have given for the recycler view and set the layout manager and new for now i'm going to select the linear layout manager but we'll use something else not the linear layout manager here because uh, if you remember we have the zigzag type of uh, layout in our main activity not the uh, simple grid layout so we'll talk about that uh, in a second for, for now i'm going to create new linear layout manager just to uh, demonstrate how it's going to look okay and i'm gonna pass the context now it's time to set the adapter for the note list set adapter and the adapter that we have here okay so we are now ready to run this application hopefully it's going to uh, it's going to display the output that i want it to display so let's go and run this okay okay guys the application is running and it is displaying the three content here but uh it's not quite right right it is uh, overlapping into the toolbar and so on so here you can see it is, it is uh, displaying the data I had added the three node add here and it is displaying the three node and if I click on any of this it's going to display the item is clicked but the layout is not right so uh, it is because uh, I have designed this for the another layout not for linear layout so instead of using linear layout let let me go back to the uh, main activity here and change this to staggered layout 
So I'm going to delete this here and uh, instead of this, I'm going to create staggered layout STA. Okay. Staggered grid layout manager. And here I need to pass the two thing. First is the number of grid I want to display. That is two grid. And second one is the type uh, orientation of the man uh, our staggered grid layout manager and that is vertical. Okay. So this one. Okay, so I'm going to run this again and uh, we'll see how it's going to look like in the application. Okay, so we have this uh, design layout issues here and that is because I just noticed I made something uh, error in while adding this uh, recycle view. So let me go back to the content main here and you can notice we have this fixed layout width and height, right? So due to that we, we were having that design layout issue. So instead of giving this uh, fixed uh, layout with here let us make this uh, 0 dp or match constant on the both side height and width so now if i uh, run this it's going to display that item absolutely fine in the recycler view so app is running yeah now it is displaying the data absolutely the way we wanted it to be okay and if i click on this it's going to uh, display the item is clicked and now uh, what is the difference between linear layout and the staggered layout? Uh, that, that there is one simple difference that is uh, the staggered layout is going to expand based on the uh, item uh, based on the content we have inside this node. To demonstrate I'm going to go back to the main activity and add some extra content here in the second item. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this and run this. Okay. Now you can see it is filling up the entire column here. Okay. Uh, if we use linear layout, we won't be able to use this uh, span count to uh, display the grid because a uh, linear is only one column. But uh, using this staggered grid layout, we can display the uh, multiple grid and we'll also display the data based on the content that uh, they have inside the view. Okay, so it's going to expand or contract based on the content. Okay, guys, so this brings to the end of this part and uh, this video is already getting too long and if uh, so in this uh, part, we learn about the recycler view and display the data, sample data to the recycler view. And we also created this uh, view layout here, custom view layout and display the data using the staggered layout. So in the next part, uh, we're going to display this details in the next activity. So whenever somebody click on this, uh, where instead of displaying this item is clicked, I'm going to open new details activity and there we'll display this title and the note. So for now, I hope uh, you are, I'm going to see you in the next video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And the most importantly, I hope you are learning something. And if you get any error or any problem while programming this with me, you can ask me the questions in the comment box below, or you can also join our Facebook group, or you can follow me in the GitHub and there you'll get the access to the source code. So you can go there and uh, download it. Otherwise, um, I'm hoping to see you in the next part of this tutorial series. For now, bye bye, have a good day.